Here's Johnny. <laughs> in recent news, actress Shelley Duvall passed away at the age of 75, and for much of her life, she had ditched Hollywood and moved to the middle of nowhere town in Texas. I went, oh God, I'm a star. You know, that's the first time I realized. So where was this home she passed away in? The Fort Worth native was known for her iconic roles in Robert Altman's films and her co-starring role in the iconic Stanley Kubrick movie, The Shining. Duvall starred in several of Altman's notable films, including Thieves Like Us, Nashville, Popeye, Three Women, and McCabe and Mrs. Miller. At the height of her career, she was a prominent figure in some of the most defining movies of the 1970s and 1980s. Yeah, Wimpy can take him, but I can't. Hmm. The actress retreated from the spotlight many years ago, living in a modest home in the small Texas Hill country town of Blanco. She passed away in her longtime residence due to complications from diabetes. While Shelley kept her life very private as well as where she was living, we're going to share all the details in today's video. Shelley Duvall was born on July 7, 1949 in Fort Worth, Texas to Bobby Ruth Crawford and Robert Richardson Duvall. Her father was a cattle auctioneer turned lawyer and her mother was a real estate broker. The eldest of four children, Shelley grew up in a creative and lively household, often entertaining her siblings with imaginative stories and performances. Her unique look and striking presence were noticeable even as a kid. Shelley attended South Texas Junior College where she initially pursued a degree in nutrition and dietics. However, her life took an unexpected turn when she was discovered by filmmaker Robert Altman at a party. Altman was captivated by her unique look and personality. To get anything done, not necessarily bullheaded, just, you know, tenacious. Leading to her first film role in Brewster McCloud in 1970. This marked the beginning of her career in Hollywood. Despite the success in the film industry that would follow, Shelley Duvall found herself gradually stepping away from the spotlight in the 1990s. After experiencing the intense demands of Hollywood and the pressures of fame, she decided to retreat to a quieter life. Shelley moved to Blanco, a small town in the Texas Hill Country, where she loved the rural environment. This choice allowed her to reconnect with her roots and live a more private and peaceful life. In Blanco, Shelley embraced a simpler lifestyle, focusing on personal well-being and creative pursuits outside of acting. She enjoyed gardening, painting, and writing, channeling her artistic energy into different forms of expression. The move to Blanco also provided her with the anonymity she longed for, allowing her to live away from the prying eyes of the media and public. Shelley's personal life was marked by a series of relationships, including a marriage to artist Bernard Sampson in the early 1970s, which ended in divorce. She later had a long-term relationship with musician Paul Simon. Despite not having children of her own, she was known for her nurturing and caring nature, often extending her motherly instincts to her nieces and nephews. At the time of her passing, Shelley was with her longtime partner, Dan Gilroy, who says Shelley died peacefully in her sleep at her home in Blanco. So where is Blanco, Texas? Blanco is a small rural town in the central Texas Hill Country with a population of about 1,700 people. It's a cattle and ranching community located along the Blanco River in Blanco County. Blanco is also about 45 minutes southwest of Austin and 45 minutes north of San Antonio. The city only covers 3.2 square miles. While many said that Shelley's move to this small town was a sign she'd become a recluse, years later she responded to those rumors in an interview, saying, I wouldn't say became a recluse. If you Google the meaning, it sounds much worse. I just took time out. I've been acting for over 35 years. It does take a lot out of you. I just needed some me time and I've loved it. People seem to think I've turned into a recluse who never leaves the house and doesn't communicate with the outside world. That's just not true. I have a quiet life now. I have a lot of animals on my property and look after them. Not a crazy cat lady yet though. While there's little information about Shelley's longtime home in Blanco, reports show her property had over 10 acres of land. Marketing materials also say interiors had two beds and three baths spread over one level, spanning over 2,100 square feet of space. The humble home had beautiful fields surrounding it, as well as extra structures like a couple of workshops. Shelley's main home itself was built all of stone and boasted a stone fireplace to match, overlooking the living room and kitchen. Other features included a sunroom off the main living space that had a wood beam ceiling, a separate entry from garage, bonus rooms with extra storage, and plenty of peace and quiet. 
The property nestled in the Texas Hill Country provided Shelly with the tranquility and inspiration she craved. Her house was adorned with unique art pieces, many of which she created herself. The garden proved her love for nature, filled with a variety of plants and flowers she tended to with great care. The interior of her home was warm and inviting, with rustic decor that complemented the natural beauty of the surrounding landscape. Except for a brief return to film in 2023 with The Forest Hills, the former Tinseltown star Shelley Duvall lived a simple, off-the-grid life in Texas for over 20 years. During this time, she often slept in her car and reminisced over old film photos she kept in her glove compartment. As her health issues increased from diabetes, Duvall spent her days listening to music and enjoying the hot Texas weather. A fan club member revealed she celebrated her 74th birthday last year with iced coffees, sugar cookies, and collages. In her final interview in April, Duvall explained she left the film industry because people in Hollywood hurt her. Her life partner, Dan Gilroy, who has been with her since 1989, spoke of her past mental health struggles. He said she became paranoid and and kind of delusional, believing she was under attack and even calling the FBI for help. It went south like that, he added. Gilroy also remembered how their move to Texas came about after their LA home was destroyed in the 1994 Northridge earthquake. They hoped for a happier life in Texas, but things took a turn as Duvall started becoming afraid of things and possibly lost her desire to work. While Shelley Duvall did have some of her own battles, her legacy in film, particularly her unforgettable performances in movies like The Shining and Three Women, continues to inspire actors and filmmakers. Her talent and iconic movie roles will always be remembered. Shelley's decision to prioritize her personal well-being and happiness over the demands of the spotlight was how she wanted to preserve her strength and individuality. In her peaceful home in Blanco, she found the contentment and creative freedom that defined the later years of her life. That'll bring today's video to an end, but rest in peace, Shelley Duvall, always be celebrated. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Bye!